The U.S. Air Force's 2024 budget request reveals that the B-52H is about to undergo another round of upgrades, resulting in a new variant called the B-52J. As of 2023, the B-52 has served the U.S. Air Force faithfully for a remarkable 66 years. With the upgraded B-52J, it is expected to continue serving until around 2050. In other words, the B-52 will still be in service for another 30 years. If the U.S. military carries out one or more additional upgrades to the B-52 during this period, there is a possibility that this bomber could remain in service into the next century. Today, let's delve into this topic and discuss why the United States is fixated on the B-52, even though it has a sufficient number of strategic bombers. In fact, as early as 2018, the U.S. Air Force disclosed plans to re-engineer the B-52H. Now, let's take a look at the upgrades the B-52H will undergo to become the B-52J. According to Aviation Week's report, the U.S. Air Force's latest round of updates to the B-52H will include changes to the engine, avionics, defensive suite, sensors, ejection system, flight data recorder, and more. Regarding this, U.S. Air Force General Collins commented that once a sufficient level of new equipment is installed, the B-52J will be capable of entering a new era. From the list of upgrades, it is apparent that the 76 active B-52s in the U.S. military will undergo a comprehensive transformation within a decade. However, in my opinion, this upgrade may not be entirely extensive because the cockpit and avionics of the B-52H have already undergone multiple improvements, such as the addition of a glass cockpit and the replacement of large multifunction displays. These upgrades have significantly reduced the workload for the pilots and provided better integration and information sharing between the aircraft's various flight management, navigation, and targeting systems and the crew. Therefore, similar to these two upgrades, it is highly likely that they will not need to be replaced. The power system used in this upgrade is the RR F-130 engine, which was selected by the U.S. Air Force in 2021 to replace the Pratt & Whitney TF-33 PW-103. In addition, the defensive systems are a focal point of this upgrade, including electronic warfare equipment and anti-jamming systems. After all, the B-52 cannot become stealthy no matter how much it is upgraded, and these two upgrades are crucial for disrupting enemy radar. The new radar is an improved version of the Super Hornet APG-79 AESA radar, which undoubtedly enhances the B-52's radar range and situational awareness. Compared to the old mechanical scanning radar, the new radar occupies less space, thereby freeing up a significant amount of space for electronic warfare capabilities. Another important aspect is the hard defense system. For several years now, the U.S. Air Force and Navy have shown great interest in incorporating hard-kill active protection systems with physical interception or directional infrared countermeasures. Many mission platforms of the U.S. Air Force, including tanker aircraft, transport aircraft, and other special aircraft, have been gradually equipped with these systems. Therefore, it is highly likely that the B-52J will also undergo upgrades in this area. This layered defense system can provide the B-52 with at least limited aerial combat capability while also serving as a bomb depot on the periphery of enemy air defense systems, achieving two objectives at once. At this point, someone might ask why, despite these upgrades, the B-52J still cannot compare to the next generation of bombers. Indeed, no matter how it is upgraded, the B-52 series will never be stealthy, which is its inherent limitation. Let's consider it from a different perspective. The U.S. military would rather gut the aircraft and spend a huge amount of money to refill it than abandon the old airframe. What is their ultimate goal? Compared to other bombers in the U.S., the B-52 has at least five significant advantages. Let's briefly explore these advantages before revealing the true reason for the continuous modernization of the B-52 by the U.S. Air Force. The first advantage is the excellent battlefield connectivity of the B-52. 
Towards the end of World War II, the U.S. Air Force realized the high dependence of the B-29 on forward bases for operations against Japan. This led to the idea of how to conduct bombing missions on targets at the other end of the Pacific without relying on nearby bases. This was the original design concept behind the B-52. The B-52 features a swept wing design with eight jet engines, allowing it to fly up to 16,232 kilometers without refueling and have a combat radius of 7,210 kilometers while carrying a full load of 35 tons of ammunition. At that time, the B-52 perfectly addressed the U.S. Air Force's urgent need for long-range bombing capabilities. Today, a century later, the U.S. military's focus has once again shifted to the Pacific region, where, similar to the previous century, there are limited available bases for the U.S. military in the area. From this perspective, whether in the previous century or today, the U.S. cannot do without an aircraft that can take off from its homeland and cover the entire globe. While the B-2 and the future B-21 also have this capability, they require at least one aerial refueling to complete such a mission, unlike the B-52. The second advantage is its versatility. The B-52 not only has a long range and a large payload, but it can also perform nuclear deterrence missions. Unlike the B-2, the B-52 has a larger number of aircraft, allowing it to handle both conventional and long-range strike missions as well as nuclear strikes simultaneously. During the Afghanistan war, the B-52's versatility was fully demonstrated. It carried out precision strikes with both unguided and guided bombs on ground targets and even monitored underwater targets by deploying sea mines. Thanks to their extended range, just two B-52s were able to cover an area of over 360,000 square kilometers within two hours, providing an overwhelming advantage at the time. The third advantage is its strong survivability. As mentioned earlier, the B-52 is not stealthy, mainly because it was designed before stealth technology was available. However, at that time, the enemy also lacked the means to defend against attacks from outside their defense zones. Therefore, the B-52 was equipped with electronic countermeasures, chaff dispensers, and various auxiliary designs, allowing it to evade enemy attacks. However, as long-range air defense systems became more advanced, the U.S. discontinued the deployment of nuclear weapons on the B-52 in 2010. Currently, the B-52's defense system includes the long-range standoff weapon manufactured by Raytheon. The LRSO has a range of 2,400 kilometers, which should keep the B-52 formidable for another decade. The fourth advantage of the B-52 is its high availability. In 2019, the B-52 had a mission-capable rate of 66%, higher than the B-2's 50% and the B-1's 46%. This data indicates that even without upgrades, the B-52H's mission-capable rate could remain the highest in the next 10 years. The final advantage is its cost-effectiveness. Compared to other bombers, the B-52 is the most economical. It costs only $60,000 per flight hour, roughly half the cost of the B-1 and one-third of the cost of the B-2. From 2021 to 2023, the U.S. Air Force allocated $300 million annually for the B-52 and an additional $270 million for fiscal year 2024. Although this may seem high to the average person, considering the number of B-52H aircraft and their mission-capable rate, it is undoubtedly a much more cost-effective option compared to other bombers. After discussing the well-known advantages of the B-52, let's now talk about the true reasons why the U.S. military refuses to retire this old bomber. I believe there are two main reasons. The first reason is its flight performance. By flight performance, I don't mean how high or how far it can fly, but rather its stability in flight. For a large aircraft, the stability of flight is crucial, with the tail being the key to stable flight. However, the B-52 seems to have no problem, even without a tail. During the period when it was leased to Boeing, a B-52 bomber experienced a low-level test flight where its 12-meter-tall vertical tail suddenly broke off. This situation would be fatal for any aircraft, but miraculously, the bomber managed to land smoothly. 
An American pilot once made the following comment about the B-52. It's an incredibly stable aircraft aerodynamically. It can do anything in the air except fly backward. We just put in the inputs, and it's just that simple. While the pilot's statement may be somewhat exaggerated, it does reflect the stability and reliability of the B-52. When the B-52 bomber first entered service, even the landing gear was classified as a military secret. The reason was simple. It was the first aircraft to use a rotating landing gear to handle crosswind landings. The landing gear could rotate 20 degrees to the left or right, allowing the aircraft to land at challenging angles. The U.S. Air Force's continuous modernization and upgrades of the B-52, despite its 66 years of service, are undoubtedly influenced by its flight stability and reliability. Although the B-52's impressive flight quality and unique aerodynamic performance are remarkable, fundamentally, it is still a heavy bomber. It carries a wide range of ammunition that covers almost all types of U.S. munitions. If, in the previous century, the B-52 was mainly used for carpet bombing, then the current B-52H and even the future B-52J are like flying arsenals in the sky. After multiple upgrades, the B-52H can utilize inertial navigation systems, radar, and the Lightning II targeting pod to detect targets. Especially with the installation of the Lightning II pod, the B-52 becomes capable of locking onto stationary and moving targets on the ground for the first time. This allows the B-52H bomber to automatically generate target coordinates, giving rise to a more flexible aerial strike platform. The B-52J can also leverage its advantages in carrying crew and payload to command drones for long-duration aerial operations. This creates a well-armed aerial unmanned strike group, a long-endurance ammunition carrier hovering in the sky. With such a formidable weapon, which country wouldn't be tempted?